Hey, 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 my YouTube family. This is Brittany and you are on the Beat for Beauty channel. Today, I wanted to ask you guys, are you her fantasy? And this one is to the guys. This is to the fellas. Are you that woman's fantasy? And I know what you're going to be thinking. You're thinking I'm thinking in terms of sex. You're thinking I'm thinking like Rome likes to say, do you make her holla? Are you a backbreaker? No, that is not what I mean. Uh, and don't get me wrong, we like that too. However, we're not, to my knowledge, us women are sexually driven, but maybe not so much as you all. And here's what I mean by that. We are not just visual. You all can look at a woman, get aroused. Us, not so much. We're not, you're not passing us and we are ready to smash. That's not usually happening. Many a times there th takes more wooing involved for us to be, you know, intrigued, interested, and to stimulate it, okay? So when I ask, are you her fantasy? I'm asking, are you putting your, your best foot forward to bring the freak out? What does that look like, right? So <laughs> what I mean by that is, are you being intentional? Are you planning dates in detail? Are you um, are you doing things without her having to ask for it? Um, is she able to listen and you empathize? Uh, are you actually learning what emotional intelligence looks like and actually caring enough to ask her what it looks like to her so that you can uh, mimic that or even learn how to communicate her with her? in an intelligent way. These are things that make up the fantasy man. And I think you'll find beyond just your body game, beyond just your cologne game, beyond just your talk game, but it's it's your walk game too. Not literally, but it's in, in how you walk in interaction with her, okay? So for instance, I hear so many women talking about uh, a man uh, being emotionally intelligent, a man being intentional um, about her position in his life and not making her guess, a man actually um, taking on and leading ways that would actually uh, make her respect him more and actually bring out a softer side of her. All of those things make up the fantasy man beyond just the physical okay so i think you should guys should ask yourself am i being intentional about being this woman's fantasy and if i did do those things and i did not receive what i think i should be uh getting what does that then look like for me because I hear men in the comments say that too. Well, I did this. I spent money. I paid bills. I planned dates. You know, I took care of home. I took care of the kids. We, the women, say it's okay to throw that one back. If you are doing all of those things, you are being Mr. Romance. You are uh, attempting to tend to her needs. You are asking for feedback about uh, what she needs and then actually implementing it and then actually asking again, hey, baby, did you receive it the way I intended? Because we learned in our love languages that, hey, the way you put it out might not be the way that person receives. So you still want to communicate and ask are you receiving it the way that I intended? So that that's clarity. And so that you know that your partner is uh, receiving the love that they want to and the way that they receive. And if you're doing all of those things and you're not getting reciprocation, you're not getting her be intentional about the way that you want to be received, the way that you want to be loved. Maybe your thing is respect. Maybe your thing is something sexual. Maybe you are a verbal affirmations kind of guy uh, and you're not receiving that back from her. It's okay to throw that one back. If you're doing all of these things, it's okay to throw her back because maybe you are not her fantasy man to where she wants to make adjustments in her behaviors to tend to you. Because say for instance, me. I definitely love a masculine presence. I like a man's man. I like for you to see that my car is dirty and you um, you just go get it washed and fill up the tank. I like you to see me cook and ask 
if I need help and, you know, maybe even give me a little slap on the butt. Like those things throughout uh, are things to turn me on. I like for you to reach out to me throughout the day during work just to check on me, just to chat briefly. Or if you can't talk on the phone because you're at work, maybe you can send an audio text message, but you are touching base. These things are also a form of foreplay for us, okay? We're not men. We don't look at you guys and click, get turned on, okay? So if you are doing these things throughout the day, and you are putting the other gestures in practice, you look more and more like the fantasy man, no matter how you look, okay? No matter if you, maybe, you, maybe you're a little butthurt in the face. You know, maybe, maybe you got a little struggle face. That's something you cannot control, okay? If that is your case, but you being Mr. Intentional, Mr. Romance, Mr. Baby Can I, Mr. Baby, how, how, how can I make things easier, Mr. Um, what can I do to, to brighten your day? And she is not reciprocating or she is not adding to you or trying to add to your happiness. Maybe you are not her fantasy man. And if she's not receiving you well after all of those efforts, then damn it, she's not yours either. She's not the fantasy woman for you. Okay. So I want you guys to actually ask yourself, are you that woman's fantasy man? And are you actually doing things that the fantasy man looks like? I think you, when you're dating out here, you should ask that person what that person is looking for. What's going to turn them on the most and not even just sexually, but mentally and spiritually. And you'll find out what that person is going to look like. And if that's something you automatically possess, and if it is, then maybe put emphasis on it so that, you know, you can stimulate your partner in that way. You see? So I think that's something that we should look into and figure out what the other person is gearing in on. Oh, I know another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is I hear so many men talk about women being masculine okay but i think there is a fine line in masculine women and um modern days woman with the modern day woman working and having to wear so many hats sometimes it does put us in masculine positions and you know bring out the more masculine side of her if you are being the intentional fantasy man you should be able to bring out a more nurturing and softer side of her. Uh, one that does not mind listening to your advice. One that uh, does not mind actually saying, you know, okay, I'm going to go with it your way, baby, and give it a try. Because you are touching on so many other things. Not just waking her up at midnight with a rub on her butt going, eh? No! Be intentional throughout the day. Be intentional throughout the week. Still send flowers. And what you'll find is not that you are give, 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 giving, but if you are doing those things to add to her life and she is a woman that I'm going to say about something and means you well and actually wants to keep you as her fantasy man, then she's going to make gestures towards you as well. Maybe she keeps a little list of things you like, things you like to eat. Uh, maybe send lunch to your job, maybe send you, um, you know, some cologne, maybe send you some little gestures just to let you know that she sees and acknowledges what you do too, okay? So those are things that you want to actually look for in a woman as well, that you're, um, that you are making sure that she's putting her best effort forward to show you love as well. And if you are her fantasy man, if you are the man in her fantasy, then she will. Okay, it's the tip for today. Are you in that lady's fantasy? You need to find out so you don't be wasting your time and wasting mine because I'm tired of helping y'all if y'all not gonna take advice. Bye-bye. Okay? <laughs>